Well, the sun uh, certainly not rising proper yet over Santa. And let's take you down to where it is going to be the venue uh, for the 15th BRIC Summit. It's where we find Rapiwa Madzena and our team uh, keeping an eye on what's going to be the opening day, Rapiwa. Morning to you. And there's a lot that we have to try and talk about as well. The biggest, I think without a doubt, uh, is going to be the inclusion, the possible inclusion of a host of other countries. As we've all been talking about in the build-up, we all have to wonder as BRICS what the pros and the cons are, aren't they? Morning. Good morning to you, Gareth. Indeed, those are the big discussions that are set to take place this week um, for the rest of the week, actually, with the heads of state from uh, the BRICS uh, member states. And there are very important discussions, Gareth, that are set to take place. So the importance of BRICS has grown over the last few years. We make up a third of global GDP. Over 40% of, pop of the population in the world is located within the BRICS uh, countries. The problem, though, Gareth, is that amongst the five uh, trading countries at the moment, uh, which are the BRICS states, only 6% of global trade happens between the states. So one of the conversations that's going to happen here is how do we unlock a greater trade relations between the BRICS bloc? And this is going to be an important discussion, specifically because there are over 20 countries at the moment, including the likes of Saudi Arabia, that have expressed a strong interest to become a part of the trading bloc. And this is interesting, Gareth, because this speaks to them moving away from emerging market economies from the global West. So a big example of this was the COVID-19 pandemic and how countries uh, within the African continent and other emerging economies relied on the global West for uh, COVID-19 related resources, including vaccines. At the end of the day, a country is going to look at its own people first before it looks at helping developing nations. And this is what we saw with the pandemic. Mm. So the idea of adding different countries uh, and expanding the block is to make sure that those resources are found within the states that are part of the block. So we're looking at almost like a G20, if you will, uh, that is made up of uh, developing economies, Gareth. And it's going to be absolutely crucial, the conversations that happen in this regard, because another conversation here is going to be the introduction of a BRICS currency. So the reduction of a reliance on the dollar. So um, the global economy relies on the dollar as the dominant currency. And the discussions here are saying, let's develop a currency that relates or talks to developing economies and, um, and really just the growth that they are seeing. The problem, though, Gareth, I must highlight, is that China, which is the biggest trading partner amongst uh, the five countries within the bloc, is seeing the slowest growth that it has seen in uh, three years. So exports have reduced, imports into China have reduced, and of course uh, they did introduce some form of a stimulus package yesterday. They reduced uh, the key interest, uh, lend, uh, the prime lending rate in that country. They've got two, a one-year and a five-year. They reduced uh, the one-year prime lending rate as a form of a stimulus to the economy. And of course economists and analysts indicating that this is simply not enough. So the problem here is that if China's not growing, China is not buying. And mm. that means mm. Africa and South Africa in particular cannot sell its commodities to one of the biggest consumers that we have in the world at the moment, which is China. Yeah, absolutely. And of uh, course, that leads very nicely into what we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, Rapi, we're not just the countries uh, that are interested, but the African countries, especially for South Africa, uh, that are keen to be part of the BRICS bloc. We'll talk about that later. Also, this massive trade deficit that we have uh, as South Africa when it comes to our global partners as well. Uh, we're going to be coming back down to uh, what is the venue for the BRICS summit getting underway a little bit later this morning. We'll have rolling coverage throughout the day. There's Rapiwa for us. Back to her in a few minutes.